Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about creating automatic file backup on Windows 11. Windows 11 allows you to backup your files, using three different methods. These methods are a built-in feature in Windows 11, and today I will use how to create file backup, on Windows 11 from Windows Backup. This method is very easy, and enables you to backup your files, and in this way you can also make daily backups of these files. Windows Backup is the second automatic file backup option on Windows 11. This feature can back up your files to a removable drive, or shared folder on the network, and Windows Backup enables you to schedule backups once a day, or weekly or monthly, because backups are stored on site, your files will be protected against accidental deletion, hardware failure, and system corruption, and it is considered more suitable for long-term archiving, or creating full backups. I will explain the steps to you in detail. And the first step you need to take, is to open Control Panel. Then select Display Format. In front of View By, select the category if it is not selected. After that, click on the System and Security section. Here you will find two ways to perform backups, which are File History, and Windows Backup. I will use the second method, which is Windows Backup. So click on Backup, and Restore Windows 7. In this step click on Set Up Backup under the Backup or Restore Your Files section. To begin the first step in backing up your files. In this step, you will be asked to specify the location where you want to save the backup copy, and it will show you all the available drives, and next to the best or recommended drive, it will be written for you. You can also select the backup to an external USB storage, or secondary drive. This choice is up to you as the user. Also, after completing the backup, you can copy it to an external storage device. Then click on the next button, in this step select the appropriate option for you. The first option will identify Windows files, and folders that are important for operating the system, documents, images, and others. But the second option, will make you specify the files and folders that you want to back up. I think the second option is better if you want to select specific files, and folders that are important to you as a user. Click on the next button. In this step, select the folders and files that you want to back up. Select all your important folders, and click on the next button to follow the steps. Here you will find all the items that you have selected. You will also find the system image included among these elements. You can remove it but it is better for it to be included so that you can restore windows as well as restore any folders that have been selected. After that, click change schedule, and here you can specify the appropriate time for the backup. You can specify the appropriate time for you to back up your files, whether daily, weekly, or monthly. If you choose weekly, you can select the appropriate date during the week. I will specify a daily basis, and you can also specify the appropriate time to make the backup. After that, click on the OK button, and the last step is to click on the Save Settings, and Run Backup button, and the backup process will start for the first time, and then subsequent backups will be performed at the specified time automatically. When you start the backup process, wait until it is completely finished. The backup process may take a long time, depending on the size of the folders and files that you added to the backup. After completion, you will find the folder in the location you specified to save the backup, and this folder is called Windows Image Backup. Now that you have completed the backup steps, I will start with you the steps on how to restore files, using Windows Backup. With the same steps, click on the System and Security section, then click on Backup and Restore Windows 7. In the Restore section, click on the Restore My Files button. After that, click on the Choose a Different Date option, select the Backup Date, and click OK you may have more than one date, so select the appropriate date for you. Then click the Browse for Files or Browse for Folders button to restore a file or folder. I'll click Browse Folder, and I'll add the two folders. And click on the Next button. Here you can choose any of the two available options, which are, Restore the file or folder to its original location, or Restore the folder or file to the location you specify. Click on the Browse button, and select the location where you want to restore the files. After specifying the location, 
click on the restore button, and it will retrieve the folders or files easily. I hope the video is useful to you. Thank you for watching. And I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.